Okay, we're gonna do a tutorial on how to do your own um, model images with a transparent background for OpenTX running on Horus X12S. The first thing we're gonna need is to download this software. It's free, it's a small, and pretty easy to use. I'm gonna put a link to this website on the description of the video. So once we got our software running, it's going to look a little bit like this. So we know that our OpenTX software uses images of a certain size. So let's resize this to what we need. 192 pixels by you can you realize that this number changed. So we're going to uncheck the uh, ratio box over here and we're gonna say 114 so 192 by 114 okay so now that we have this image we have a white background we're gonna select all control A and we're gonna press delete now this kind of checkerboard represents all the areas that are transparent on uh, our image so so far we're good to go let's go to google and find an image for p51 we click on images and let's work on this one you can see it's a uh, 1989 pixels uh, of size so let's click on it it's a really good image we're gonna click right click copy image so let's create a new one and you're gonna see that this software already gives you the dimensions of the Im image that it's on your clipboard so just click OK now for this picture being a such a high resolution uh, image we gonna resize this image. Let's go by percentage 50. So here is our image. And let's go to resize. We don't want to work on this such a huge image especially if you don't have a high-end uh, computer so let's go by percentage and let's work on a 50% of the size okay now the tool we're gonna be using is this magic wand and what this tool does is once you click somewhere on the image it's gonna try to select all the pixels pixels that have a close color to it so you can see we have part of our airplane selected and we don't want that so we're gonna play with the tolerance here and you see it if I go lower on the tolerance you're gonna see that the selection goes smaller or it doesn't touch our airplane now right now at 24 percent part of our airplane is selected and we don't want to do that so let's take it a little smaller and you can see that area keep shrinking so let's go to 16 now 16 works 17 19 19 touches our airplane so 18 17 now that we have this nice outline don't worry if you don't have this part of the picture selected so now we're gonna press delete and you can see it's uh, transparent already on this size but let's click on this side and look at that perfect outline nothing we can do after that so delete if we get close here to the propellers you can see that the outline is not just perfect so we want to click again and we're going to play with the tolerance so we're right around our propeller so we're going to increase it a little more Now that looks pretty good. That outline is really close to, to, to our prop. So we're going to click delete. 
but we damage our spinner so control Z we're gonna go a little less we don't want to touch that spinner so 14% is still touching our spinner let's let's see what happens if I go lower 5% and let's try this again let's try to click on the side we're gonna come here so you can play with the tool if the selection doesn't work just click on a different spot that looks pretty good for now so I'm gonna delete it I'm gonna get closer I'm gonna select this perfect I'm gonna select it again let me increase the tolerance a little bit so we can go around it's too much. Right about there. Same thing with this side. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This this image is gonna be a lot smaller when we're done with it. And a lot of these little problems will go away. Now we damage the spinning and the lower part, so let's go back. Control Z will go back on the steps. Okay, now we're good right there. So pretty much that's a, a, that that's as close as we can get without damaging the whole picture. So let's see if that touches the spinner. No, that will clear that. Let's see if we can do it here. Increase the threshold again on that tolerance and that looks pretty good for now <coughs> now if you see here in the tail we have a little bit of trash we don't want to get rid of that as stabilizer so let's go lower right about there looks fine and that antenna and all these imperfections around here all these little marks we're gonna get rid of them at the end let's let's just try to do this outline perfect now that looks pretty good for now so let's try to make the plane as bigger as we can for our screen and the way to do that is just using the selection tool to barely touching the wing and barely touching the tail and we're gonna crop it so let's go to image crop to selection uh, we can do the same thing with the spinner and the right wing you get really close and image crop to selection so we're almost there we have this almost done we're gonna select all and we're gonna resize this image now remember uh, on this part we need to click here to maintain the ratio and we know that we have to be at 192 and then we have 130 so 130 doesn't fit on our 114 limit for the height so let's go 114 here and it's got to modify the width. Now the width is 169, that fits on 192. So just click OK. Now we're going to select all. We're going to copy, Control C. We're going to come back to our template, the one that it's of the right size of the screen. And we're going to paste it. Now all we got to do is center the image. And you think that it's nice and done we going to save it and this is the part where we're going to take care of all these little stuff you can see all these little points here that are not quite transparent and they will show on the screen so let's go to save it so we're going to save it as a png let's say mustang remember you can only use six characters so we're gonna save it I already have one but I'm gonna replace it and here is where we play with this 
I'm gonna zoom in with the uh, wheel of the mouse and you see all these little spots around the, the plane and if I go to my threshold on zero on an 8-bit uh, image you can see them but if I go one pretty much the w white uh, background disappeared and I'm gonna keep going high and you can see how a lot of that trash start going starts going away if I go all the way you're gonna see there's no trash around but it will affect our our image it will make it kind of choppy on the pixels so I can start going low till you are happy with it and the way I do it is I just get close to an area and I see that there's some stuff still around and I keep going forward till they disappear and I'm pretty close right here I only have this one that probably is gonna go away anytime now let's see right there so I can go lower the lower you go the more uh, definition you're gonna have so you gotta find that sweet spot where the trash is gone right there so trash is going going about there and I can go down and you can see there's the wing is a little choppy but you won't be able to see it the rest of the plane looks pretty fine all the curves are there so once you're there you just hit okay and the image is saved uh, well that will be it but before we go let me show you what happens when you get lucky when you are doing this search instead of just p51 if you add png which is the format you might find a model that's already clean that all the background is already transparent just like this one for example you see the checkerboard all that is done for you and all the borders are smooth so pretty much all you gotta do is just copy the image go back to our software and I'm gonna select all I'm gonna delete it this is our our um, template with the right uh, with the right size 192 by 114 um, this is the one that we just worked let's make a new one so we're gonna make new again it's gonna give you the dimensions of the file that you already have on your clipboard so you click OK and just paste see so now all we gotta do is just crop it so our plane will be as big as possible on our screen and right there looks pretty good so image crop to selection now I'm gonna resize this model and again I'm gonna go to 192 and you see 87 fits on 114 so that's perfect we click OK we go again I'm zooming in pressing uh, the control key and, and, and the wheel on the mouse so control A for select all control C we go back to our original image the one that has the right size we play we play uh, we press control V to paste it and all we gotta do now is just center it and you can see it's very clean there's no trash around it, that those borders are already semi transparent so it's gonna play really good with the display of the image so we go to file save as and I'm gonna call it uh, MUSTA2 and since, since this one was already clean I can get close and I can look at those borders there's there's a lot of chopping but that's because we have a 180 threshold here but if I go to 0 and I press 1 you can see it's a really nice image it has a little bit of white on the border so let's play a little bit with it if we go higher and higher so just so they disappear like probably I like it right there you see all that white is gone and I can actually go a little lower probably no more than that and it's a really smooth uh, model all I gotta do now is just click 
Okay, but before I do that, remember to set up uh, your image on A bit. Okay, anything higher wouldn't let you adjust the, the threshold. If I go up to 24 bits, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna have a wide background. Same thing with 32 or auto detect. Okay, so A bits and play with it a little bit it will give you the best combination. So now click OK. It's gonna save it, and that will be all for for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please do so. Uh, I'll try to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, till then.